Hi, good morning guys, I'm Jermaine. I'm gonna do a quick video on how to do the installation of SQL Server 2017. You can find this edition on the Microsoft website. You can just go right over here and download it. It's free, no cost associated with it, guys. Alright, so I've downloaded this executable file already, so I'm just gonna go into my download directory where you can locate the file and then I'll just execute it from here. I have an instance already running, so what I'm gonna do is just click OK here. So you you have three options, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do a custom installation. You can choose your location where you want to install it, but for now, I'm just going to keep the default location. Click install. You want to do new standalone installation. The reason why mine seem to have completed so quickly is because I already downloaded the, the package. So it would be quick and faster just for the purpose of this tutorial. So we want to do a new standalone installation. If you don't have management studio, you can later on come and install it from here as well. We don't want to check for any update right now, so uncheck that, click next. This is a rule check, so my firewall is on, so that's why I'm getting this warning. This won't affect the installation in any way, so you can just click next to continue the process. So here I already have an instance of SQL Server 2617 installed already. So what I can do is either I can add feature or perform a new installation. So what I'm going to do now is perform a new installation. Accept the license agreement, click next. We want the database engine. You can keep these checked, but I won't use them, so I'm going to uncheck them. So I'm just going to keep the database engine services only because that's what I'll be needing, using. Bye bye. So we're going to click next. So because I have already installed a version of the database, there's already an instance, which is MSL, MSS SQL Server. So if I install, the, if I click default here, then it will try and install another copy of the same instance, which will cause conflict. So what I'm going to do here, 
I'm going to name the instance as test. Change the instance ID to test as well. Click next. I'm going to keep the database engine startup as default. You can disable the browser services as we won't be really using that. You can go ahead and choose the collation. I'll keep the default. Click next. In this section, you can add users which would like to have access to your SQL server. And I am going to select Windows Authentication Mode. You can also choose Mix Authentication Mode and set an password for the SA account. But I'm just going to work with Windows Authentication Mode now. In relation to best practices, you want to change the data directory, the log directory, and the backup directory from the root directory and it would be best to have them on a different drive i've already created a data a data drive so here i'm going to place my data files i'm going to change the log directory as well ideally you would want separate drives for your data and logs Configuring your TempDB is very important in SQL Server. If you're going to have a data base server which is highly utilized, you want to increase your temp database. So for now, I'll use 4. Initial size, I'll set it to 100 megs. The growth rate is dependent on how heavy the database is utilized again. Auto growth of 64 megabyte is okay as a default, but later on, if you're experiencing heavy growth, you might want to upgrade this, but keep it less than 1000 megabytes. For these, these are our for our later discussion, so now we want to keep the defaults checked. Click next. So I'm just going to allow this installation process to run. It might take a while. So the installation is complete, so we're going to click close and that's it. I have management studio installed as yet, so I'm going to stop this video for now and do another video on how to connect to the database engine with management studio. If you like this video, like, subscribe and comment.